Hi my loves, welcome to another video by your fave of course. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and thank you for subscribers to my channel. I'm going to show you how to do this fashion effect. So I was watching a video with my sister and I remembered Avengers movie. So today I decided I was going to do that. First, I'm going to make a quick selection with the quick selection tool. Make sure that I increase um, the size so that I can make a selection and reduce the hardness of my brush. Then I'm just going to go ahead and select my subject. So I want to make my subject look as if um, parts of him are disappearing into thin air. I know you guys remember Thanos and um, the wipeout of the Earth Avengers, especially Spider-Man's um, dispersion. So yes, that is what we are doing. So you can go ahead and add selections and remove it. If you don't know how to use the quick selection tool, please go ahead and watch my previous videos. You'll definitely find out how to do this. Reduce the size and make sure that you have what you want and what you don't need, you remove it. Okay, so once you've made this selection, what you want to do is click on Ctrl J. This will duplicate this subject of its own layer. As you can see, this is my subject. You can go ahead and just make the background visible. And then duplicate this subject by clicking on Ctrl J, duplicate it, Ctrl or Command then J. Then you can rename this to, I'm just going to rename both of them. So I'll have the first subject and the second subject. The purpose of these two layers um, during this passion effect is so that one layer which is mainly the subject's layer will be to show the particles that are from his body then the second layer will show you the particles that are in the air floating away okay go at the bottom and select the add new layer icon drag it to the bottom and what you want to do is you to add um, a white background so make sure that your foreground color is white and take the paint bucket then just click on the image now once that is done you can start working on what you want so we work on the second piece go to filter then go ahead and go to liquify I'm actually using the recent version of Photoshop, so I'm not sure how the rest, but I think it's the same thing, though it doesn't look like this. Make sure that you have reduced the brush size to 500, the brush pressure to 100, the brush rate to 0, and the density to 100. Or you can go with what works with you, depending on what size of the brush you want. So, but I'm just going to leave mine at um, this then go ahead and just drag it out once you're done go ahead and click OK Now you can see you have this guy in layer 2 
as liquefy then you have the main subject so the one in liquefy will show the particles floating and the one with the single man will show particles from his body so what you want to do now is you want to make those particles seen so go ahead add a layer mask to the subject first so go ahead and add a layer mask on the layer mask icon go to brush tool and just select um a particles brush tool the link is down below if you want to download any of the brushes that i'm using then go ahead and select a size and make sure that the foreground color is black since we're working on a white layer mask we want to use black so that we hide particles of his character so it looks like particles of him are facing and i'm just going to do that Once that is done, I'm just going to drag this at the bottom and make sure that I select on my second liquidified layer and click on Alt, then click on Layer Mask. This will make sure that the layer mask is in black. So what you want to do is reveal particles. So white reveals black height. Go ahead and select another brush according to your liking. You can take a few um, to experiment, change the brush size depending on what you want and make sure that your foreground color is white so that you see what um, you are revealing. When you're done, you can go ahead and see what you want. If you want to um, use a bigger brush size so that the particles look more realistic, you can do that. And if you want to remove more particles from the sub main subject layer, just make sure that you counter check between the layer and the foreground color. work on the background so that the background isn't as outstanding as the subject so what i'm going to do is first i'm going to take quick selection tool and make a quick selection of this guy then you want to right click on this and select fill then at the top make sure that you've selected content aware so what this does is everything that you've selected matches the content of your image so once photoshop is done processing it shows the background or the main subject in this image so this is what it looks like but you can still see that there are particles there so just go ahead and take the clone tool hold alt then select an area you want to clone um do this continuously you can just see what i'm doing select for example um the rock the texture on the rock click on alt select the texture on the rock then just um clone this clone where the subject was so that the textures of the rock can be a replacement of where the subject was. I hope that makes sense. So once you're done, just go ahead and make sure that the subject's layer and the, the model to layer are visible. Just click on the padlock so that the background becomes its own layer. Then go down to the adjustments layer and make sure that you um, choose what you want. So I'm just going to choose this and make sure that I reduce 
and increase so that the background is dark and my subject becomes the literal um, main point of focus. I'm just going to make this a group so that I can still deal with one individual layer without actually merging the two. And click on the adjustments icon and make sure that I add a clipping mask and I'm going to increase this and do the same for this. Now you can see the difference where my subject is brighter than my actual background. And you can go ahead and edit this however you want it to look. You can use the vibrance, curves, levels, it all depends on what you want. If you want to change with the brushes, if you want to add some things to this, uh, it's all your choice. I can go ahead and increase the size of my brushes if I want to edit that. Make sure you click on the layer mask and make sure that you confirm your foreground color so that you know if you want to hide or if you want to reveal. If you're dealing with the groups, you can go ahead, choose what you want. If you click on the group, you can still do the same thing. Um, this is my final product. The, this is how I do a dispersion effect. So guys, if you haven't watched how I edit my... Um, photos how to use curves and levels and adjustments layer yeah, definitely go ahead and watch my video on beginner i did this on my beginner course uh, video so please go and watch it and make sure to like um subscribe share and comment i really really appreciate all the support you guys are giving me and um yes that is it um thank you guys for watching my video Bye my loves, see you in my next one.